Hey everyone, so today I wanted to look at some of the Dune cards from the Dune Imperium set. I believe it's from the game Dune Imperium Uprising from Direwolf. And some of the artwork and imagery may offer some clues as to what we're going to see in Dune Part 2. This is going to be a general discussion about uh, some of the impressions I have of the images and my thoughts and ideas on what we might see in the second film. So the first image I'm going to look at is Jessica holding what appears to be the Water of Life. And it's the same kind of bottle that we see in the Dune Part 2 trailer, being held by one of the Fremen. So this artwork may offer clues as to Jessica's look during the Water of Life scene, and what the surrounding Fremen architecture will look like, with those intricate pillars in the background. And this seems to be what she will look like before she changes the Water of Life, because her eyes are not blue yet the colour not changed by the Water of Life. Next we see an image of Shaddam IV, played by Christopher Walken, and behind him we see the sigil of House Corino, in red and white, and he's wearing some basic white robes, with some kind of pattern on each side. But what's more interesting is that he seems to be surrounded by mist or smoke. Could this be an indication that he's speaking to someone that requires such smoke, or produces such smoke, perhaps a kind of spice tank, or perhaps some kind of other contraption? Could it be the Baron, or perhaps even a guild navigator? Let me know what you think. Next we have a card of Staban Tuek, who is the son of Esmar Tuek. Now could this mean that Staban Tuik is actually cast in the Dune Parts 2 movie? It's hard to say, but if he has been cast, he'll probably have a small role because he hasn't been announced. Perhaps he has a role similar in size to Benjamin Clementine, the Herald of the Change, who has some significant screen time. Do you want Staban Tuik in the movie? Let me know in the comments below. This image of Irulan is apparently an actual scene in the Dune movie, and if you are a member of my Patreon, you'll know that I mentioned ages ago that this scene with Princess Irulan is actually a scene that we will definitely see in Dune Part 2 taking place. And this seems to be occurring on Kaitain, the homeworld of the Emperor Shaddam IV, and it appears to be some kind of ceremony, and she wears an outfit that we see in the Dune Part 2 trailer briefly. So this might occur around the beginning of the movie, and it does seem to remind me of the Herald of the Change scene in some way, this ceremonial heraldry, a scene which I really enjoyed in Dune Part 1. Next we have an image of Princess Irulan, and she's donning the same outfit that we see her donning in the Dune Part 2 trailer, this silvery, chainmail-like outfit. And we get to see more of her dress, so perhaps this is exactly what it's going to look like in the movie. She seems to be surrounded by stone walls, and the people behind her seem to be the same type of people who are standing at the end fight in the Emperor's entourage. So this definitely seems like the end of the movie, where Princess Irulan is present. But this image seems to be her taking a stance, perhaps approaching Paul Atreides at the end, perhaps when Paul Atreides emerges victorious. Looking at this artwork, from left to right. The first appears to be the homeworld of Kaitain, and interestingly it also appears that the architecture is circular, similar to how it was on Caladan. So it seems that all of the architecture that the Emperor controls across the known universe is designed to his liking and specifications, these circular shapes and designs for doors and archways. And we can see that the guards are wearing red, similar to the banner of House Carino. So I wonder if this is going to be the look of the guards in Dune Part 2. The second image appears to be the fight on Gady Prime in the arena with Fade Rautha. What's interesting about this is the colour usage. You can see it has blue hues, but the people, Fade Rautha and the gladiatorial fighters, are in colour. So perhaps this is the actual look of the arena fight in Dune Part 2, with these blue hues and properly coloured skin. Although the fighter on the left may not actually be Fade Rautha, their skin tones are natural colours. Here we get a glimpse of what it may look like when the sandworms break the shield wall, and there seems to be at least four sandworms with tents on their backs and plenty of Fremen within them, breaking the shield wall and approaching what will be the Emperor's ship and the Sardaukar troops. We also get to see Stilgar with terrible water discipline, but this might just be for the cards to recognise that it is actually Stilgar, otherwise we wouldn't know if he was covered. Or it could be true to the movie, perhaps we see him without any gear, so that we know that he is riding a sandworm ready for battle. But I'm sure it will be epic regardless. 
This card uses the word Usul, which is the secret Fremen name given to Pul Atreides. It's an Arabic word, but in Dune it means the base of the pillar, so they may use the word in Dune Part 2, which will delight some fans because they like the phrase, tell me of your homeworld Usul. This image shows Carthag, which could mean that we'll see it in Dune Part 2, and I theorise that we saw this in the Dune Part 2 trailer. Here we can also see Habanya Erg, which seems to be the same location as shown in the Dune Part 2 trailer, based on the rock formations. And this card image is entitled Devastating Assault, which is a scene that we see in the Dune Part 2 trailer, and it hints at what could be the devastating assault on a child, among others. Something that happens to some of the main characters in Dune Part 2. And finally we get to see this artwork of Paul Atreides versus Fade Rautha of House Harkonnen. But what's interesting about this scene, more importantly, is the background. They seem to be standing before an eclipse. And this eclipse we see in the Dune Part 2 trailer. And we didn't quite know what the significance of that eclipse was. It's not in the book, it's not in anything that we have read in the Dune novels. So the significance really is linked to the campaign of the Dune movie. It began with an eclipse with the Dune logo. And this seems to be the culmination of that eclipse, the creation of that eclipse, that significant moment that it occurs. And so I think that this is actually going to happen right before, during, or just after Paul's fight with Fade Rautha. It seems like a fitting end to the events that occur on Arrakis. And it's interesting that we're going to actually see an eclipse because eclipses do signify great celestial events, like historical moments, and it even carried a certain amount of mysticism and it has spiritual connotations too. People feared eclipses, whether it be the Muslims or the Mayans. They feared these things because of the religious texts they read or the governing bodies controlling the masses. So it's a very interesting symbolism and I do hope that it's going to actually happen in the Dune Part 2 film and that we get to see a type of eclipse that has this kind of jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring moment where it takes you aback and makes you think that this event is heavy and huge and this defeat by Paul Atreides and this victory by Paul Atreides is going to be the beginning of something quite dark and quite ominous. And that's all I have for you guys. My channel isn't being monetized at the moment due to issues with YouTube as a whole and it won't be monetized for three months more because YouTube hasn't accepted my appeals. So if you'd like to help support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon where I'm more active there in the meantime, where you'll receive news I don't mention to the public and special content exclusive to you. But I wanted to make this video just for you guys because I know it's been a while and I wanted to offer you a treat on a day where I know we were supposed to get the Dune Parts 2 movie and we didn't, so I thought I'd make some kind of consolation prize for you. It's very hard for me to find the time to work on this channel. I'd love to do it full time, but it's just not possible at the moment. That's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Thanks and until next time, see you soon.